Hello everyone, I'm KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare the Chinese taro cake. When I mention about Chinese taro cake, you may have a wrong conception that it is a sweet dessert. In fact, the taro cake is savory. The major ingredient in the taro cakes are Chinese sausages, kill meats, dry shrimps, and dry mushrooms. They are all savory items with high umami flavor. It is commonly served as dim sum during breakfast and is commonly served especially during the Chinese New Year season. In this video, I want to show you how to prepare the Chinese taro cake. Let's follow me and I will show you how to make it step by step. First, let me show you how to prepare the taro. This is the taro that I got it from the market. I need to peel off the skin and then cut it into slices and then cubes. I have peeled off the skin of the taro. Some people are allergic to the raw taro. They may find um, itchy if they touch the raw taro. So in that case, always put on your glove. I've cut the taro into small pieces like this. So now I'll set aside and move on to the next step. Now let's fry the shallots. So over here I have three shallots already cut into thin slices and I'm going to fry it with some oil. Put the shallot into the oil and start to fry it over low heat until it turns to golden brown and crispy. Be patient, do not use high heat because it can burn easily. And normally it will take about five minutes until it becomes crispy and golden brown. Now the shallot has become golden brown and crispy. Drain on a wire mesh trainer. Let's move on to prepare the savory ingredients. The first one is the Chinese sausage or lap chow. You have to remove the casing of the sausage and cut it into small pieces. If you find difficult to remove the casing, put it into hot water. Just let it be there for about 30 seconds. The casing will expand and detach from the sausage itself. Now you can remove the casing easily. Then cut the Chinese sausage into small pieces like this. Next, we have the Chinese cured meat. It, it is quite similar to the Chinese sausage, but the taste is slightly different. If you don't have the cured meats, you can double the amount of the Chinese sausage. Cut the cured meat just like the Chinese sausage into small pieces. Next, dry shrimps. This is the dry shrimps. Put the dry shrimps in water and let it soak for about 20 to 30 minutes until it's softened. Then give it a few rough chops. Pour the dry shrimps through a wire mesh trainer. And keep the soaking liquid. As for the dry mushrooms, soak it in water until it's softened. Squeeze out the water. and keep the soaking liquid because it is very flavorful. Remove the stem and cut the mushrooms into small pieces. Now we fry the savory items. Remember just now we fried the shallot. So this is the shallot oil, very flavorful. We use the shallot oil to fry the Chinese sausage and the cured meat. 
once it turns aromatic, add the dry shrimps. It will splatter a little bit because of the, the water inside the dry shrimps. Followed by the mushroom. So once it is done, I'll remove quarter of it and put it aside. I reserve this quarter to put it on top of the taro cake before steaming. And the rest I'll mix with the taro. Okay. Now add the taro into the pan. Combine everything. And add the seasoning. This is ground white pepper. Chinese five spice powder. Sugar. And some salt. Some recipe call for adding chicken bouillon or even chicken broth. It may not be necessary because the dry shrimps, the Chinese sausage, mushroom and the cured meat are all very flavorful. It should be enough flavor in the taro cake without adding any MSG or chicken bouillon. We just combine everything lightly fry it for a minute or two and move on to make the rice flour better so of course i can only use water for the liquid but since i have the soaking liquid for the dry shrimps and also the soaking liquid for the mushrooms all these soaking liquids are umami rich very flavorful so i'm going to make use of both to be part of the liquid and I'll use water to add it up to 430 ml so now I'll combine the rice flour and the liquid as well as adding some salt and a little bit of potato starch. The purpose of the starch is to make the cake stickier. If you don't like the sticky texture, you can omit it. Heat up the rice flour mixture over low heat and keep stirring until it turns into a thick paste. That will happen at about 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. If you have a kitchen thermometer like me, you can use it to measure the temperature. If you don't have the kitchen thermometer, it is okay. Once the rice flour is thickened, you can just remove it from heat. It may take a few minutes. The rice flour is now start to thicken. So keep scraping the bottom and the sides. When the rice fry has turned into a thick paste like this, it is time to remove from heat. Now combine the rice paste with the taro, mushroom, Chinese sausage, kill meat, and the dry shrimps. Once combined, transfer it to a glass casserole or a baking pan. Grease the glass casserole with some oil and put a piece of baking paper at the bottom because you may find you may have difficulties to remove the taro cake if you don't have the piece of baking paper because it is quite sticky. Fill up the casserole with the cake mixture and level the surface. Then put the reserved portion of the dry shrimps, mushrooms, kill meat and the Chinese sausage on top. Cover the taro cake with aluminum foil. Steam the cake for about 35 minutes over medium heat. 35 minutes up, let's check whether the cake is already cooked.
The toothpaste comes out clean, which means it's cooked. Now I will transfer it to a table and let it cool down at room temperature and then I'll again transfer it to a refrigerator for a few hours. If you unmold it now, you may break the cake because it is too soft. I'll see you again a few hours later. Now I take a cake board and turn it over. Okay. Remove the paper. And turn it back again onto the chopping board. So now it's ready to cut into pieces. If you have difficulty to cut it, always use a sharp knife or thin blade and warm it in either hot water or over the stove. So I have just warmed it over the stove. Now the blade is hot and it's much easier to cut because it is now less sticky. Top with fried shallots, scallions and chili. Best to serve during breakfast as dim sum or during Chinese New Year. This is how I prepare the Chinese taro cake. If you want the recipe, please follow the link in the description right below the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a like. Until the next video, I'll see you again. My name is KB Kwan. Bye for now.